Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad. Back again to do another beer review. Going to continue the uh, Eastern European craft beer odyssey that, I'm, that I started with the last beer, the Mohair Beret. This one we're going we're gonna to go travel from Poland. We're going to go right up now into the Baltic states and into Estonia to do this. And this is Tanker and Flying In. The Tanker are an Estonian brewery. This is their Octorus Red Rye IPA. This weighs in at 7.5%. It says so there. Nice can this. Very sparkly. Very nice can. Um, best before on this one. I did see this earlier on. I can't see it. I can't, I can't see it. I'm not gonna go any do any, any further. It's on there somewhere. I just can't, can't just can't please at the minute. Yes, yeah, definitely not on there. Righty ho. Anyway, Red Rye IPA. This one was um, given to me by Frank Tittle, who did a, a, a week in Tallinn and came back with three beers for me, two tankers and, a, and another one. So let's pop this open. Pop it up, that's what we've got. There we go. So being a glass, what have we got ourselves? Well, we've got ourselves a dark copper red beer. A little bit of very hazy, so a touch of light getting through the bottom. We've got two fingers of ivory coloured head, sponge like in the bubbles. It looks lovely. Looks really good. Let's get a nose and let's see what we can smell. Straight off the bat, I'm getting some kind of pine. There's hops there, caramel. I want to say I want to say wood, like oak, but certainly pine, resin, sweet caramel, and the hops. It's lovely, smells lovely. Let's go for the bunch of the carbonation. Medium bodied, beautiful soft carbonation. Right, let's go in for the big taste. <sighs> Malts come through, a nice malty, bready um, backbone. There's a little bit of spice there, there's a little bit of rye comes through as well. There is a little bit of, there is a little bit, there is some hints of pine and hints of resin um, there's a little bit of sweetness from a, from like a, a caramel or a toffee oh. really nice 7.5 percent really well hidden as you'd expect from a, a modern a modern brewer it's got, it's got a bit of earth to it as well a bit of an earthy note going on right at the back end a little bit of spice. It's very good. And it's very, very easy to drink. Very easy. Yeah, so opens up with this bready malt um, that goes into a little bit of sweet caramel there is a as that kind of fades this, this dry pie sort of resinous finish goes into a bit of spice but there's, a, there's this earthy mineral chewy very very back end great Is a lovely 
lovely, lovely beer. Really nice beer. So, this is Tanker and the Flying Game, the Arcturus Red um, Red Rye IPA. So, do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it if I saw it over here? Yes. Would I recommend this to friends? Yes, I would. I still can't remember where, where that bloody best before is. Purely a subway, I just can't place it. Um, it's got 65 IBUs as well. It says that on the back, so I'm not even taking a guess at that. It says it there. Um, this, is, this is excellent. If you've had this, let me know what you think. Put a little comment below. I, um, I'll put a link to the website as well, also below. Excuse me. If you like the video, give me the thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give me the thumbs down and subscribe down in that corner there. Um, thanks, Frank, for this beer. It is absolutely delicious. Um, and I'll see you all in the next one. Hey, Leo.